Oh my god. Look at you. You look amazing. <laughs> Are you happy? Look at the woods. I know. This is what you want? This is exactly what I wanted. Let me see this, this train. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. This is gorgeous. I can't cry. I want to cry. Oh, forehead. Yep. Welcome, family, friends, and loved ones. We are gathered here today to celebrate the wedding of Kyle and Kara. You all have come here to share in the formal commitment they are making to one another, to offer your love and support to this union, and to allow Kyle and Kara to start their married life together, surrounded by the people dearest and most important to them. Kyle and Kara, thank you for your presence here today, and now ask for your encouragement and loving support of their new life together as husband and wife. It has been six and a half years since we met, and after our first date, I told my friends that you might be the one. The woman I fell in love with was independent and fearless and pushed me to open my mind, my heart, to see value and show patience. These teachings have helped mold me into a better man, a better friend, and I hope a better partner. You make me laugh, you inspire me, you empower me, you are my other half. You are the reason I love myself and the reason I have so much love to give others. I'm eternally grateful that I get to share this love with you, my best friend, for the rest of our lives together. Uh, okay, that was really good. Uh, good job, uh, really good job. Uh, Kara, whenever you're ready. Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Kyle. You are handsome, kind, generous, thoughtful, intelligent, funny, creative, empathetic. You are a million wonderful things, but I feel most lucky that you are the love of my life and my better half. <sighs> Loving you makes me feel safe, makes me feel whole. When I feel like giving up, you show me why I should keep going. You are my best friend, my family, my everything. And here in front of our incredible loved ones, I vow to always choose you, our love and our marriage for the rest of my life and our life together. Thank you, Karen. It's really nice. Family and friends, by the power vested in me by the internet and by the state of Washington, I now formally pronounce Kyle and Kara to be husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Kyle and Kara, may you now enjoy a lifetime of sunrises and sunsets together. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Andrews. <laughs> I got to know Kara much better when the three of us uh, got to be roommates for, for a year. Um, it was then when I realized how thoughtful and awesome of a girlfriend Kara was for Kyle. You know, but like some of you may know, it's not easy being the third wheel. <laughs> so Kara, thank you for being the third wheel for me and Kyle. Everyone that knows Kara 
knows how passionate she is about everything in a really beautiful way and, you know, a little bit wild, but still in a beautiful way. <laughs> and Kara and Kyle, you just make a perfect match because Kyle, you're so grounded and you're really, you know, you approach things a little bit more rationally and, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> But when you put those two things together, it just creates a very beautiful partnership. Marriage, is, of course, is about love, but it's also about honor, respect, and commitment. It's about communicating openly and honestly. It's about having the humility to apologize and the kindness to forgive. And finally, it's about being best friends. So on that note, would everyone please raise your glass for a toast to Kara and Kyle. Here's to, hang on, here's to a lifetime of happiness together and a love that grows stronger every day. And remember that the best thing to hold on to in life is each other. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.